So that was so hard. And saying goodbye to Felicita temporarily. Um, it was so hard because the Lord has made us so one in the last two years. Like, like I never could have imagined. Like we are one. Bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. And so when you separate, it's really hard. But the Lord told me this morning in the bathroom, he said, I've made you one, but now remember what the oneness is unto. It's for the kingdom of God. And so that helped me to know that, yes, focus on the family, focus on your marriage, but so that it can be a blessing and not... Uh, so it can increase the kingdom and not just increase my heart's longings and, and uh, the oneness that comes with the, all the blessings of that oneness. So that helped me. And but as Felicito was leaving, I couldn't help but run after her. And so I ran. I was just going back to tell her we were one. We were one, we were one, and so I started crying. And then that made her cry. Um, but I was able to just tell her we are one, no matter how many miles are in between us, we are one. And the Lord is gonna, as Felicita is my bride and my helpmate, that the Holy Spirit is her helpmate and, and the Holy Spirit is gonna help her as it's, the Holy Spirit is helping me. So that helped process that and so grateful. And I told her in the car, I believe this time of separation is going to cause even the bridal paradigm to come even more where how Jesus feels about his bride. He can't wait to come back to her. I'm going to be counting the days to come back to her. And in the same way, um, how the bride longs for Jesus to come. The bride and the Spirit say, Come. Come, Lord Jesus. Kenya Airways here at JFK in New York City. Next stop, Nairobi. So Father, we thank you that as we take this trip, Lord, that you would guide our steps, that you would lead us as the cloud before the children of Israel, that you're in us. So fill us even the more fresh, empower us and do us with might. Thank you, Lord, for this trip that we get to take, daughter and dad together for your glory. May you uh, chase demons away and release angels while we're going in the plane protection for my family. In Jesus' name, thank you for nothing going wrong and everything being on time and in order. Even when we get to Nairobi and then on to Uganda, everything in your perfect order and will. Even when we sit around, bless you, Lord. Thank you that you can manifest your presence even on a plane. Teach us, help us, and uh, help us get rest as well, too. And mommy and all the children, amen. This was really great. We are here at Nairobi Airport after having a long flight and tired and everything. And two gentlemen said that we were welcome to come up to the business lounge. And so we had a nice break for hour and had a really good meal. It was really yummy. So we're really grateful to Abba for a place to rest in between our flights. Now we're on to Uganda. Uganda. As soon as you started to say it, I remembered. So I tried to get in the car. I thought I was getting on the passenger side, on that side, and I was surprised to see the driving wheel there. 
steering wheel. People are going down the wrong side of the street here. <laughs> it's very confusing. <laughs> so now we're embarking on a seven hour road trip yeah. across Uganda to get to where we're going to have as the mission space. So, Lord, I ask that you translate us and make it go faster. Open up the highways, angels all about us, nothing coming at us, front, side, back. Thank you, Lord, for your covering. And thank you for your grace. Especially on my dear brother. Grace, grace. So it's 2.40 in the morning, and we have about an hour and 40 minutes still to go, and we're kind of being taken down some pretty rough roads. So Abba, we just ask for your grace to find the right main road. So after traveling from Pennsylvania like 36 hours ago, we are on dirt roads in um, Western Uganda. Western Uganda at 3.29 in the morning. Um, I don't know what that is in um, army time, but... No, it's 3.30 in the morning. Okay. <laughs> um, this GPS has been weird. Um, but we've been pushing through and finding the roads, asking people. And now we are 15 minutes away from our final destination, which I think are kind of like a kibbutz scenario. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. This is the door into heaven. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Oh my God. We've been around the world. <laughs> so we left Philadelphia Thursday morning, 7 a.m. Didn't sleep much that day. We get on a train to New York City, fly all day Thursday into Friday. We arrive Friday. Um, we drive from, uh, Antibbe to who knows where we're at. North, uh, Chiki. no, West. Chiki. 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 <laughs> Chiki. <laughs> Chiki monkey. Um, on back roads for the last two hours of the trip through the mountains of West Uganda, close to... Ka the Kondo, Congo and Rwanda. Um, and here we are. It's approaching five o'clock in the morning at the place we're going to crash. In what, two seconds? We'll turn. And if not, we're going to crash on this ground right here. No, no, no. So Gilman was our hero. <laughs> Drove us through places unknown and known, and we praise God. Almost uh, ran out of gas. Did what? No, close, but no. Yeah. Last night we got in at five o'clock in the morning. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness.